All right? You're going to ask him to say something about somebody, dog? Be able to look that man in his eye when you see him. When you see that man, be able to look that man in the eye and ask him some say shit or say some slick shit about him. You understand? If I say something about you, if I don't like you, I can say it. I can say it right to your motherfucking face. I don't have to use this internet, bro. All we got to do is meet up. All right. So now we're going to go on there. Like I said, I was thanking everybody for their cash app and everything like that. That was Doris Silver, Michael G., Samuel Jackson, Lee Foreman the uh, Third, and Christopher White. For the PayPal was Latasha Matthews, Smart Girl NYC, Khalif Williams, Russell Hicks, and Ronald Williams. You, you know, I thank y'all. Appreciate y'all for y'all taking your time. Let me get to this fool right quick, and then I'm gonna get to the story. Oh, while I'm doing the uh, fool right quick, I'm gonna do the Uncle Gene segment of this program. You know. I know, you know, I still get the people talking about what they like and what they don't like. You have these Simon, Kansas Simon right here. I'm going to put them in there like that. Like a lot of times, people take the bones, it's little light bones like this, and they'll take them out. Some people smash the bones in there. They, they so light, you can't even, you won't even taste them in the Simon. But I like to pick them out. See those bones? Pick them shits out. We're going to do two cans. It smell like fish, but it tastes like chicken. <laughs> Yo, fellas, you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> nah, nah. I'm just kidding. It's Valentine's Day. <laughs> People going to be eating a lot of chicken. <laughs> yep. So... We got the the bones out of the fish, out of the salmon. You gonna smash that up a little bit real quick? This shit is real easy to make. It's good. A lot of people like it. You know, it's a substitute for a lot of different things. You know, a lot of people not eating red meat anymore. You can eat these for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You hear me? You can eat these salmon cakes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A lot of people like them with grits and eggs. For dinner, they like them with rice. You got those salmon cakes. What I take is, I've already pre-cut. I got the red peppers, red onions, white onions, green peppers. We're going to put them in there. Put as much as you like. See that? I hope y'all can see that right there. I'm going to put that in there. All right. I'm going to throw a little pepper in here. You want, you, you want to use just a teaspoon of pepper in two cans. I know how to do that right there, so I'm good at that. So I know how about a teaspoon is. But no more teaspoon. And... You want to use your sassoon. A lot of people, they, they, they like the sassoon. It's a little salty sometimes, but it's got a great flavor. All right. You want to use about a half a cup of breadcrumbs. Since I'm pretty good at it and I can measure it myself, I go that route. I use the seasoned breadcrumbs. Four C's. I know y'all like that Four C's iced tea that I showed y'all that iced tea mix before. Then what I'm going to do is 
I forgot my eggs, so I got to go get my eggs. Yeah. I hope everything is well. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Right here. I'm going to crack these eggs. Two eggs. I'm going to mix that up. I might go with another two more eggs. Because it's supposed to be two eggs for every can. But I like to mix it up first. And if I get it as moist as I want to, I might just throw one egg in there. All right. Um, what we're talking about today, and like I said, it's going to be Say My Name Diddy, The Wick Big Got Shot. And we're going to talk about a lot of that on my March the 9th. Uh, the first time I heard Big call that nigga Diddy, but, and I'm going to talk about Farnsworth Bentley, how he got his name too, because a person had called in and he had texted that they want to talk to Farns, uh, they want me to say something about Farnsworth Bentley and, and talk about Farnsworth Bentley, because, you know, he was, you know, puff right hand man and everything like that, you know, his, you know, his uh, personal assistant. Okay, so um, I'm gonna tell you a, a couple a story about him also with this whole thing. Yeah, the Simon Croquettes, Simon Croquettes. So we do that. I'm gonna throw another egg in here. I got a shell in that little piece of shell. Got that out. Mix this up again. I like to see the red, the green in there. I like to see the onions in there. I like a lot of onions in mine. So I'm going to put a little more red onions. A little more of these white onions. I'm going to heat up this pan. And I'm going to tell you uh, the Fonsworth Bentley story first. And then I'm going to tell you the Puff story. All right, so we here, right here. This is a lot of damn croquettes, man. I'm not finna cook all these shits. I'm gonna cook about three or four of them, and I'm gonna freeze this for another day. Make them into like little balls or whatever and freeze them. So what I do now, I take some cornmeal. And I sprinkle it on the pan. All right. I take a little flour. Bear with me, everybody. Take that flour, put it right there. Mix a little more cornmeal on top of that flour. Now, what I'm gonna do, throw a little of that breadcrumbs with it. Put 
put in your little seasoning. Cause some, all you want, you want your bread. You always want your whatever you bread, like you cooking chicken or something like that. You want that also to have some seasoning in it too. Your breading. Yeah, I know I'm getting them old slime buckets always saying, yo, nobody wants to see this motherfucker cooking. Go to another channel. All right. All right. I got, looking, I got like 400 and something likes. You're going to mix this up a little bit. I mixed that up right there. Look, so now I'm going to take one of these, these right here. I'm going to do it like this. Check it out. You roll it like that, and that's how you make a meatball also. See that? Then you just take it and roll it in the thing. Do another one. Check it out. See that? Rolling that flour right there. Jan Robinson, my mama, she would take that and put it in the freezer and let it get cold a little bit so it could be stable and have some substance. But we don't have time for that tonight. See that? Right here, we rolling it like that. Rolling. We're gonna do one more. Here we go. I'm in here doing this. Should be out on a damn date. <laughs> All right. Right. See that? I got four of them right there. You're gonna drop them just like this into the fryer now i'm putting it i'm cooking in the olive oil because i ran out of oil and i didn't go get any oil so that's what i'm cooking them in give me one second you see me do this i have flour on my hand oh you didn't see it i did this into the grease so the flour on my hand went into grease and it starts sizzling so i know the grease is hot enough to drop it Finish with that. The rest of that shit, I'm gonna freeze. Take with me. Hey y'all, thank. I'm sorry about that. See, we don't have wreck here no more, man. Rec could be in here move, maneuvering the camera and shit like that, going to the thing. So shout out to MREC on MREC TV. Appreciate all what have you done for me. Getting me started over here. And like I said, this is the Uncle Gene segment of the show. Let me shout some people out. Dante Watkins, what's good with you? Planet X Entertainment. Sassy Nasty. Little Dude B, Midtown Mike, or Middletown Mike. Sorry about that, brother. GFTR. People rolling in this joint so fast. Jaja, what's good with you? Jacob, Gary Holland, what's up? All right, Phoenix, Arizona, what's up, Phoenix? My little man out there playing basketball. Happy Valentine's Day to you all, too. All right? So let's check this out. Let's get to a couple of stories right here. But first, I want to do the Uncle Gene segment of this show, man. 
I got a thousand people in here, 500 something likes. I guess I'm all right if I got half the likes, right? That's what I see. Jamal Jackson was good. All right. You hear that Simon grease over there? I'm going to turn that grease down just a little bit because it's sizzling right now. All right. So then I'm going to flip it over. When I flip it over, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Check this shit out. You see those right there? You have them like that. You cook them a little bit. You see how they're brown on it? You cook it. You flip it right there. You see that brown is on it? Then now you just smash them down. Smash them down. Smash them down. Look at that. Let that shit cook on that side till it's done. Then you flip it back over and you got your Simon Croquettes. That shit is easy. That shit is good. Grits, rice, you know, whatever you want to make with that, that's a good meal. Like I said, it smells like fish, but it tastes like chicken. <laughs> a lot of you going to be eating some chicken tonight. Okay. All right. Uncle Gene said, you know, listen, I ain't got no producer on this shit, man. I'm just in here having fun. I'm glad y'all spending y'all time. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with me and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I want y'all to go and check out that show on the beat. You're going to learn a lot about me by watching that. Uh, go to the beat 139. Go to that, that the thing I did yesterday on the beat 139. You're going to learn a lot about me, man. You know what I'm saying? I, that was the first time I had somebody, um, you know, plenty, plenty, plenty pussy. What's up? Picture plenty pussy. What's good with you? What's up, Shabazz? S. Khan, what's up with you, boy? Out on the West Coast. Yo, let me get a shout out to Cali, too. You know, a lot of Cali love. Appreciate y'all out there. Big Mike, what's up with you, boy? So, um, I was at that, um, what I was talking about? Damn, running my motherfucking mouth. Yeah, the, the, uh, the, the, the 139, the beat, 139. You're going to learn a lot about me. Troy Nitty, what's good out there in Vegas? My man Bill is out there. Jaja was good. So now, uh, on the Uncle Gene segment, this girl was, you know, you know, she sent something to my uh, post office box, and she said she was having a lot of problems with her boyfriend and shit, you know, and I'm like an uncle that she never had, and she's going to trust what I would have to say to her. You understand? And like I said, I raised my I raised my daughters to be women. And this is what I got to say to you brothers. You got to be there for your kids so you can look them eye to eye when they get grown and know you did all what you could for them and you did the best for them, bro. You understand? I can look my kids in the eye and they know that about me. My daughter be saying like, you know, they be looking at each other, they be going, ching ching, because I made them put braces on their teeth. You understand? And they thank me for that now. You understand? And, and, you, and you be that for them. I want you brothers to stop telling somebody, I'm, I, yo, I'll die for you and start living for them. If you got to shovel shit, whatever you got to do for them, you do that. You understand? Like I said, this is the Uncle Gene segment of this fucking show. So when I told the girl, let me flip this over right quick. 